Time for a little fair or foul. News out of the Big 12 earlier today that the conference will not move to divisions next season, but will instead match the top two teams from the league in the conference title game. So, Paul, is that fair or foul? No divisions. I think it's foul, Sam. I, I really I, at times wonder if the Big 12 just simply doesn't like go on the street and ask somebody who don't, knows nothing about college athletics how to run this league. They embarrassed themselves a couple weeks ago by not expanding or by conducting a charade in the expansion. And now think about this. What if Baylor and West Virginia you know, conceivably could meet again a week later if they're, if they're the top two teams in the league? Divisions get stale sometimes, but they serve a purpose. They also keep you from having to play divisional rivalries back to back. And, and to me, I don't. Th this is a pure play to try to get in the playoff where I think they could do that anyway. Even if, if you have an inferior team in a division, you play the number one team from the other side, you lose, and the team perhaps can advance to the playoff, but I think you have a bigger risk that the best team loses to the second team and neither team goes. Wow, so I think Paul wow. thinks it's foul. Yeah, very foul. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really didn't have a strong opinion one way or another. I thought that, you know, okay, both teams will have to play each other twice if you get into the championship game because they do the whole round, round robin thing in a Big 12. But I guess Paul makes some really good points, some valid points as far as if you want to see this game twice back-to-back -back weeks, if it's like a West Virginia and a Baylor who they're playing the last game of the season and they're one and two again, then they have to play again. And it makes it much more difficult for the team that's number one to beat the number two team twice. You know, we, we all know how difficult that can be. But outside of that, I, I, I have to commend them on trying to figure out a way to legitimately crown, crown a Big 12 champion, which is what they needed. Well, think about it. We, we talk about it and we gripe about it all the time, yeah. all of us up here. The SEC East is terrible. Right. The, the ACC Coastal and the, the difference between the Coastal yeah. and the Atlantic. Exactly. So the Big 12's kind of avoid it. I'd like to see everybody do this. I, like I wouldn't mind seeing every conference in college football yeah. do something like this because but we will get better games because if we get SEC East versus SEC West in the championship game, we've seen that 49 to 10 versus Alabama and Tennessee. Right. Do you want to see that again? Paul, Paul don't you want the two best? I mean, isn't that the goal well, to see I them whether or not they've played before? But not to sound like I work for any league, but I don't. Sometimes you have to think about the betterment of the league. <laughs> and, and by the way, guys, I mean, yeah, I mean, you may have a bad championship game, but if you're trying to win the, the SEC East, you're still in it every week. I mean, Kentucky fans are talking about being in second place. That may sound trite on a big picture, but within a league, it's fairly important to get to Atlanta, to get to the championship game if you're in the yeah. ACC. This is all about the playoff, which is fine. I know that's where college football is is, but I think you hurt the overall league by doing this, and then you run the risk uh, like like you said, and a couple of years ago in the SEC, remember when Alabama lost to Auburn, they would have met the next week in a rematch, which frankly How I wouldn't awesome have minded, would have been. but it would have been, but some years, though, <laughs> some years you're going to cannibalize yourself, and I think that would be self-destructing for what the Big 12 is trying to do. By the way, I don't think the Big 12 will be around long enough for this really to matter it, after all. I think they're, they're See, really kicking themselves hard. I agree with what you're saying, Paul, that you could cannibalize yourself, but I don't care as much about that as I care about better games. Yeah. So if we get more games, I, I, feel like, I feel like we win. Come on, you so. know, we got the, everybody gets a trophy. You know, that's the, the way things are nowadays. <laughs> you got to give, you gotta give, you gotta give the, the, the SEC the East a chance <laughs> to get in there. You know, you have Alabama and LSU. Those teams will just dominate. But, and then you have your Tennessee, your Florida. They, they won't get a chance. All right, speaking of but Alabama, guys, we're going to move on to the next one. Oh, sorry, Paul. No, I'm just, I mean, there are television contracts you have to think about here, not that we care about stuff like that. And you have games <laughs> in November that now. matter. Yeah, yeah. You're going real deep now, well, pause. Well, well with this, That's real deep. It, with one and two, uh, all these games in November are going to be obsolete. Nobody's going to care. Mm -hmm. nope. Debatable. Okay. But we'll debate that another day. All right, we're going to move on to LSU and Alabama. They're both.